We're taking a live look outside Winneville Pickamity College for us this afternoon, seeing that uh, pavement out there with nothing but clear skies and these temperatures are going to really start to warm up here over the next day or so. I'm calling it comfortably warm today. We'll see temperatures maybe a couple degrees warmer than where we were yesterday already into the upper 70s and low 80s as we speak. But this is the part that we need to enjoy today. The lower humidity levels notice 39 to about 52% relative humidity that may be up in that 60 to 70% range as we head through tomorrow with the higher humidity levels really starting to crank up here for the second half of the week. Still got kind of a east northeasterly breeze across the area. Very light this afternoon and uh, not really going to be all that bad of a deal. If you head out the door again, it's hot, but it's I don't want to say it's a dry heat, but it's drier than it will be tomorrow. Temperatures into the uh, upper 80s, uh, just flirting with that 90 degree mark today. We'll see about 14 plus hours of daylight today. Now overnight tonight, a warm front lifts northbound. Not nearly as comfortable as the 50s and 60s we saw this morning. We're talking about upper 60s to near 70 for overnight lows tonight. We will start to see some high level clouds from this system that is working its way eastbound. Now, most of this energy is going to head across northern mid Atlantic states, but we're just going to be on the tail end of it as a little disturbance uh, along that system kind of shoots out from it and comes across the mountains later tomorrow morning into the afternoon hours and then tracks over our neighborhood by tomorrow night. The chances there for some brief heavy downpours, maybe a damaging wind gust. I don't see the ingredients for a tornado for us here in eastern North Carolina, though, with that system. And by the time we hit Friday, that front is well off to the north. Southwesterly winds kick in. Nothing but sunny skies for the day on Friday. That could go down as the hottest day of the year. Keep in mind, the only heat we've only seen here so far this year has been in the upper 80s to near 90 degrees. And we could talk in mid to upper 90s in here on Friday and we'll do it again probably on Saturday as well. You'll notice the, the weather service does have us about that 5% chance there of seeing maybe it winds over 60 miles an hour and hail larger than an inch as we see those storms firing up for us tomorrow. So the heat and humidity is going to be around going into the weekend. As I always say, you get the steam, you're going to get the storms for us here. Then we may see some more isolated storms on Saturday, a break for Sunday. Now going into early part of the next week, a uh, front starts to slowly work its way towards us here. That's going to break those temperatures back a little bit here, but also give us a chance for scattered showers and thunderstorms, which again, we're in a drought we could desperately use.